So I'm Chaz Edwards, I'm the Chief Revenue Officer at Pixaza. And, and the, the problem that Pixaza is trying to solve is that while there's a tremendous interest in images online, there are nearly four trillion images on the internet, there are 200 million new ones being uploaded every day to Facebook, consumer interest in images on the internet is tremendously high, but the experience around images is very static and limited. And so Pixaza's mission is to make images interactive. And we do that through a combination of, of, of visual recognition and image recognition algorithms and through human assistance of that. A, a, a freelance team that taps into a crowdsourcing platform that we've built um, is able to identify objects inside images that we can then attach relevant content to. The most common application of Pixaza's technology is happening on celebrity entertainment sites, Access Hollywood or Yahoo's OMG or Just Jared or OK Magazine. When you're looking at a picture of a celebrity and you're curious about what he or she is wearing and if you want to get the look, you can mouse over a Pixaza enabled image and we'll surface uh, uh, information and links to retail stores that tell you where to get similar sunglasses or handbags or shoes. I think the, the best way to start thinking about it for, for both publishers and advertisers is to look through the eyes of their consumer. And, and if you are, you're a publisher, what you're experiencing is that your consumers, your readers, your site visitors are more and more interested and engaged with your images. And you're seeing this any publication you go to, whether it's a news site like the New York Times or it's a fashion site like Access Hollywood or it's a business site like Silicon Alley Insider, more and more content is being built around photo galleries and image galleries which help explain a story, whether it's a news story, a business story, or an entertainment story. And so publishers are already seeing that their consumers are, are, are very engaged in visual content. The challenge for publishers has been that while there's huge interest by their consumers in, in image content, it's been difficult for them to monetize that. It's been very difficult for them to be, bring their brand advertising partners into the mix. Uh, because you don't want to ruin a picture experience by slapping a rich media ad on top of it. And so what Pixaza is trying to do is, is help publishers craft a more native experience for brands to advertise around images. And, and that's really what we're doing. Uh, start with the consumer, solve a problem for publishers, and if we can do those two things right, it, it creates an opportunity for brand advertisers to tap into that user interest in images. The, we're still in our early days at Pixaza, but, but the early data is very encouraging. We have publishers at a rate of about 100 a day that are signing up through our website to, be, to have us help them make their images more interactive. And we're now reaching more than 150 million monthly uniques. And those 150 million people are looking at, are, are doing 100 million image views a day around interactive images. So it's, it's a sign that we, we may have struck a chord with consumers on the internet. Do, do you have any data that kind of confirms increased retention or anything like that? Yeah, we do. I mean, we, some of the things that we look at, the important metrics for us, one very important metric is if you present a reader, a consumer with an image that invites interactivity, how likely are they to participate with it or not? And, and what we see on average across all of our sites in entertainment and sports and other categories is that roughly 20% of, of people presented with an interactive image engage more deeply with it, in, engage that additional content. And they're then spending another three seconds with that image that they weren't spending before. I, I think that the, the, um, the couple of things that are important to me when I'm looking at a startup opportunity, whether it's one like Federated Media that I participated in from the very beginning or something like Pixaza where I'm joining a team of founders already underway is first and foremost going after a very big opportunity. You're going to play in a sandbox, make sure it's a very big sandbox. And the reason that's important is because you, 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 as much as you have great ideas and a vision for something that you're going to do, it's going to change when you talk to customers, when you talk to brands, when you talk to publishers about what they want your company to do. And giving yourself room to listen and evolve and iterate is very, very important. I don't think any of us can be perfect in the people we hire. What, what I was, when you think about what's important, at least to me, about a successful startup is that ability to, to maneuver and listen and learn and change based on feedback and based on data. I, th I look for people that have that kind of experience and personality as well. Are these, 
they're, they're terrific people that are good at doing one thing very well that I've hired over the years who were great at that one thing when we did that one thing. And when we began to do something new with the business, they were in some cases less capable of, of evolving with us. And so I look for people that are, that, that are very smart people, very articulate people, and very eager to learn new things and, and evolve with the business.